All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're doing a new build. This is the new update from Scum that includes a lot of the uh, upgraded female uh, as well as uh, other bug fixes. You can see here there's a lot different uh, facial and body structure here, which is really cool. They definitely look a lot better than they used to. Um, I'm not going to actually build a female character. Um, obviously a lot of people are going to for obvious reasons, but I'm going to go ahead and pick my normal male character for now. And we're just going to kind of run with it and see what the update has to offer. Uh, everything was wiped. So we have new loot, uh, that we're going to need to go get. And I figured I, you know, the update actually did allow you to keep your stats. Um, but we're not going to worry about that. Uh, we want to actually do a new build altogether. So I'm going to actually do a two strength build and a two constitution build because I actually want to get my intelligence up to five. So I'm going to leave this guy's face how it is. I'm actually going to do the tattoo look. I like this one. And we're going to go ahead with, of course, everybody needs to have the max, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, Got to do it. Can't help it. Um, and we're going to go ahead and hit next. So let's go ahead and pick out what we want I used to do advanced melee I actually have a video of just how effective advanced melee can be uh, but I also know um, you know that rifles and handgun are where it's at uh, if you're facing somebody with a handgun and rifle uh, if they're a decent shot you're gonna get downed every time unless you have a bulletproof vest on even if you're great at the swing in the ninja sword uh, you may get downed pretty easily. So I want to go ahead for a new build and do we're gonna do medium rifles and we're gonna do basic handgun Archery is gonna level up pretty naturally and pretty easily uh, As we use the bow skill and you can also level all these up of course in the events So I do actually like to do PvP so I will be doing those but we're gonna start out with that and then I, I usually would do with the three build um, I usually would do advanced running but obviously I can't do that with this only two points in constitution so I'm gonna just do medium running and then I'm gonna take basic endurance because we don't want our guy taking forever to get his stamina back and as well as dealing with food things like that uh, so we're gonna leave it at that and then I am a lock picker extraordinaire I like to think um, I still need some practice with the gold locks but we're gonna go with the advanced thievery and we're gonna do that for that one for dexterity and then for the intelligence skills uh, as you can see guys they're gonna be adding some pretty sweet different perks in this uh, at some point with scum so I'm really excited about it uh, I do want to do advanced medical for sure because I will tell you it is a night and day difference It's very hard to level up because obviously if you're not met bandaging you're not gonna be leveling your medical and You know who wants to be sitting there bleeding and bandaging and doing that back and forth over and over again I mean, it's just not it's not conducive to the play style we're going for so we're gonna do advanced right off the bat And then we're gonna do medium engineering because I want to be able to craft silver locks right out of the right out of the gate and then I want to do a basic survival now. I could go sniping um, Or you know any of these really but camo is gonna do its own thing It's gonna level up naturally as you're hiding in bushes and things like that awareness as you're dragging items in and out of inventory um, That will help your awareness and sniping well I can, you know, level sniping with just sniping zombies, really, I mean, uh, or, you know, different factors and events, things like that. But survival will level up easily on its own as well, but the reason I'm taking basic is because I want to be able to have uh, bulletproof armor, or improvised armor built. So, I want to be able to do it right away, and there's also a couple other crafting recipes that I just want on hand right away. So, we're going to go ahead and hit create, looks good, and let's get it going, baby. And as you can see here, they have the new 0.75 update here, Call of Beauty. That's pretty hilarious. Um, so you're going to see definitely they've made some improvements on the female characters. You're definitely going to want to uh, experiment with that yourself if you're into that. And also, 
you know, see what this update has to offer here. So uh, you've been seeing tons of clothing options all over the map for quite some time. And so now uh, people are going to be definitely utilizing them a lot more, I would believe. And so they're obviously this is definitely a, a push to get more male involvement uh, in the gaming community, uh, but maybe some female involvement as well. So. If the, if the female characters don't look so, uh, you know, hideous, maybe there'll be more female players to the game as well. Um, I actually don't love this spawn right here because I actually want to go to D4. So I'm actually going to go ahead and see if I can respawn this guy here, uh, sadly. But I want to go ahead and do it anyway. And we'll get our fame points back quick enough. Sorry, buddy. You're going to be... Uh, Hitting the hitting the ground here pretty good, buddy. Sorry. All right, random. Let's do a respawn. Hopefully we'll get D4, uh, D3, something like that. Kind of what I'm hoping for. So. And that's a negative. That sucks. And we may be trying this again here ten more times. Huh? Who knows? How about uh, I'll let you know once we finally get to D4. How about that? Yeah, let's cut to that, shall we? So we went ahead and we uh, decided to re-roll our character in hopes of getting to the D spawn, but honestly, it didn't. it's not happening for some reason. So we're gonna roll with this, actually. This is the Z2 spawn. Um, I really wanna go ahead and check this town out. It looks pretty badass. I've never actually been to Z. Uh, on the town side of things. Oh my god, no! Oh, he's dead. Oh my god. You saw it first, guys. You saw it. Wow. Alright, I got it, guys. I can do this. I can do this. We made it to C4. Alright, it, it happened for a reason. Everything happens for a reason, right, guys? Alright, D4, D3 is close enough. I can make a run for it. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's, let's actually not hit the ground super mega hard this time. We're going to pull our shoot a little premature. A little premature. Okay, that's way too premature. <laughs> well, uh, we are definitely having a beautiful view. Uh, you guys can see this view. I mean, I'm telling you guys, this beautiful game. And uh, there's probably a player out here waiting for me. All right, when you first land in, for all you guys who are new, I like to go ahead and craft a stone knife as quick as possible in order to get some sticks quickly. And then we want to go ahead and make an ax as quick as possible. Spears are absolute garbage. Uh, the fact that we have no melee skill is a really bad idea here. But, you know, guess what? We're going to level it up at some point. Uh, and we won't really need it uh, after we start getting some firearms or a bow. So no big deal. And I'll tell you what, guys, the bow is lethal. It is lethal. Uh, so you definitely don't want to miss out on trying to get your bow skill leveled up. It's very paralyzing. Um, you'll have, you know, even if you have a stab proof vest on, it's, it's still going to stun you. And you're going to get stunned, which makes you open to attack. So definitely use the bow as much as possible. So first things first, we're going to get an axe. Um, and then we're going to make a bow. So, I'd love to know in the comments section also, guys, what you think of Scum as it stands today. What do you think? Are you guys excited about where it's going? Um, do you think that it sucks? Uh, just go ahead and tell me in the comments. So far for me, Scum is my favorite um, survival game at the moment. And just a quick tip there, if, if you're wanting to do uh, any kind of crafting, if you already know the recipe, you kind of just click it out here uh, so it lights up and then right click whatever you want to make. So I was actually able to make the rope and I'm going to drag this to my hand. Uh, if I can do it, I'm going to drag this to my hand and we're going to go ahead and put the rope here and I'm going to go ahead and cut this again. And then I'm going to need to grab another set of rocks to make that axe real quick. And since we lost our fame to my uh, exploits of, uh, you know, hitting the ground super hard, we're going to need to uh, get those fame points back up, guys. Now, I did craft. I, let me see if I can. Oh, there, okay, perfect. There's some rocks. We're going to go ahead and craft the rocks. We're going to get two. 
and we're going to go ahead and double click these and stone axe head bada boom bada bing and look over your shoulder you know whenever possible okay make sure you're always doing that and i'm going to drag this actually i'm going to leave it on the ground and i'm going to just drop this too because i'm going to just grab a long stick that i supposedly there it is i cut it there you go all right now to find our you hear that oh, that was me <laughs> now to find my sticks there we go so we got a long stick axe head rope and we're gonna craft stone axe really quick make sure you remember where your crafting materials are at all times gentlemen and ladies and people all of you no discriminations here we all are welcome to the channel so let's go ahead and we have an axe so now i want to go ahead and make a bow so i'm going to need more um materials so i do have two sticks there and there's another and i'm going to go ahead and crack get some more to make that bow real fast now I want to go to D4 as quick as humanly possible and see in, in this town right here. But I do want to not, you know, I don't want to go completely without being able to defend myself. And it doesn't hurt to get your fame points up as well because if you want to respawn to zone, uh, it's 50 fame. So we definitely don't want to keep having to do random respawns. That is no fun whatsoever as you saw earlier in the video so you want to make sure you get your fame up as quick as possible crafting is a quick way to do it killing zombies or puppets is another great way to do it so we've got another rope here i'm going to grab another stick and we've got um i'm going to go ahead and need cloth now if you need the bow this is the bow here you're gonna need one rope, one long stick, and one axe. So that's another way to get to the crafting menu. Um, if you'd rather do it that way, that will show you all the recipes available to you. But if you've played Scum long enough, you kind of know some of the recipes by heart. So we've got that. I'm gonna equip that sucker right here. And I wanna go ahead and also get this bad boy here. Now we're gonna need a, we're gonna need arrows for sure. Um, and we'll also need a quiver. So the quiver recipe is sometimes a little hard to find for me. I don't know why, but sometimes I have a little bit of a little problem here and there. Okay, there it is. Boom. So we need five st small sticks, three rags. So we're going to get, we've got three sticks. So let's go. Ahead. And this is why I like the axe because, um, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to do this instead because... I want to show you guys. All right, so here's why you're going to want to have an axe is because we're going to cut this tree down here and we're going to want to go ahead and grab the branch from it. Uh-oh. Player. RZ. I call him a Z. Puppet. Already getting some action. Ah. Three. Oop. Oh, missing. Four. He did a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Six, seven, eight, nine, all right, nine hits with the stone ax with no melee skill and two strength, just so you know. So there you go. And this is actually great because now I can actually grab their uh horrible sight there uh i can grab <laughs> their jeans and i can actually cut them into rags if i want which i want and this will actually save me from having to destroy my clothing and therefore getting me cold things like that so there's three rags and i need three rags and i need the five small sticks so we'll come back to this body here Let's go ahead and cut this tree down since it's near like we were doing before we were interrupted so rudely by the puppet. That's what they're called in the game. If you're new, 
The zombies are puppets, and they're technically not zombies, supposedly, but I call them zombies. They're Zs, okay? Like it or don't, that's what they're called. All right, so there's the branch. We want to take it, <clears throat> and I want to go ahead and grab it and drag it over here. Now, we are sitting ducks here if anybody wants to get cheeky with us and, you know, snipe us. But this is beginning the game, and we don't have much to lose, so let's just go ahead and do it. So here's why I like the, the tree, guys. You got to you gotta chop this thing up, and then you're going to have a bunch of long sticks, which will be really helpful. And then you can make them smaller. The higher your survival skill, by the way, the quicker you will do crafting um, actions. So do keep that in mind. As we level up our survival skill, things will get a lot faster. From chopping to actually uh, crafting the items. All right, we've got five sticks. We've got everything we need here, except we need five. Let's see. We need rope. So we're going to need to make rope. So we're going to need more sticks. And again, as you can see in the top right, I am gaining fame points back. So that does help me with being able to spawn where I want. Which is great. So there's the rope. Love the graphics of this game, I'm telling you. Alright, so look. Improvised Criver is... Criver? Wow. Imp <laughs> Improvised Quiver is now gray here where it's actually craftable. So we're going to go ahead and click that. Alrighty, let's go. Quiver. Yeah, baby. And a quick show of how to make an arrow is click a stick, click a tool. That's a sharp tool. And there's an arrow. So now we can make some arrows and we'll start being able to defend ourselves a lot better. Now, I do want to make a satchel. Again, these are some basic things you want to have. You want to have a satchel, a quiver, arrow, and a bow and some melee weapons. Now, what I was saying before about the crafting, right, is why you want some basic survival um, is because, you know, you can craft this improvised bulletproof armor, which is what you desperately want to do as soon as humanly possible. Uh, so we will be trying to do that. Another great thing is the uh, improvised backpack because then it could give you good carry capacity uh, and you can just use a puppet skin or an animal skin and you need a thread or some, you need a thread or a sewing kit so that you can either make an improvised sewing kit or find a regular sewing kit. So that's why I wanted basic survival right off the bat. Uh, so I can get those items going pretty quickly. Now, like I said, we want to make the sh the satchel uh, or the satchel. And we're going to go ahead and chop this up here. Now, if you have scissors, scissors will help you chop these uh, cloth so much faster. So you can actually actually also get more uh, for your uh, efforts. So we want to go ahead and get a satchel. And to do so, you're going to need... Oh, that's a courier backpack. Oh, that's actually what we want. Yeah. We're good with that. So we want the, we need three rags and we need a rope. So like I was so showing you earlier about the uh, chopping the, the chopping the tree is you want more branches, right? So I'm going to go ahead and chop another tree because we actually ended up using up those sticks pretty well. So and it also helps you with engineering and survival skill as you continue to craft. So you definitely want to keep doing as much of that as you can. So here we go. 
And the other thing you're going to want to guys is you want an ax as well because, and I'm looking for that branch, by the way, that's what we're doing here. I'm not just sprinting skippy here for no reason. The branch sometimes goes places. There we go. So let's bring it back over. Hope you guys love that. And we're going to go ahead and chop this sucker up. I haven't got my vocal warm-up done yet today. I'll have to try and do some more serenading at another time. Now, as I was mentioning, you want an axe because you're gonna want you can take those logs that came off of the tree over there and or there as well, and you can get a long stick, a plank, and some rope, guys. And you're in business to make a shovel. So you're going to definitely want to do that as well. And that will let you bury some loot. Which you're going to need to make a chest. So a chest is another thing. Uh, if you have like a large backpack or something. I always like to carry like just some strands of rope. Improvised rope. Or you can do rag rope. Uh, whatever you like to do. Which I could do here uh, technically. Which I might, I might do that. Um, at another time here and actually let's see we're gonna need these three rags so we're not gonna chop these up so we're gonna do five sticks equals a rope and we're gonna go ahead and do that and once we have the basic stuff guys we're gonna take a, a gander over there at the town and see as it's as I speak now we've just earned our first actual fame point because we actually uh, got out of the negative finally, which is super great. So here you go, improvised courier backpack. We're in business, which will give us more inventory capacity, which is great. All right, our crafted backpack. Oh no, don't cut it to rags. What am I doing? Oh man, that was close. Woo, you gotta be paying attention guys. You gotta be paying attention. So we equip that and bada boom, bada bing. Look at that, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and chop this up uh, as well because we wanna go ahead and make an arrow. So there's another arrow. I'm gonna chop these. And you can carry 12 arrows. Um, I usually like to carry like 24 arrows at least because sometimes I don't always like to go back to recover them from the puppet because Sometimes it could be dangerous. You know you you shoot a puppet down in a town or Something like that you get sniped. So always carry extra arrows if you can and um, Don't know why we were doing that. We'll just go ahead. Oh, let me show you a quick trick Hit crafting Go to the arrows, okay? And there's a bunch of different arrows, which we'll get into at another time. But the wooden arrows, okay? You craft them once. Now, watch this. Now, I actually like to hit C and craft them low profile. It, just because you actually crafted it once, okay? With the craft button. If you press Alt C, you can craft again without having to go to the crafting menu. And this is a rot, uh, a rot, this is a rot faster. This is a lot faster, okay? Uh, to do multiple arrows, multiple different types of crafting. So do keep that in mind. It's a super handy trick. Um, so I'm, I'm super excited about that. And we're gonna do a couple more. Okay. Couple more. And this is, you know, the beginnings, guys. This is how you get started. This is at least how I choose to get started. Of course, you can always rush in and just take a wood spear, go to a town. You can find backpacks. You can find satchels. You can find, uh, you know, quivers, all of that stuff. But, you know, we're doing it for multiple purposes. And A, I'm trying to show you something, and B... Why not get those fame points up, right? And get your engineering and your crafting and survival up. So there's that. 
see how much faster that is guys way faster all right so i don't want to bore you with making too many more arrows we're just going to run in with what we've got and we'll just hope for the best okay so there's that and then we're going to try to go there is a town to the left but i just want to go like straight into the town so let's find our bearings if you do have a survival skill of any kind, you will get a map pointer, which is nice. So I got a north, at least, naturally. But if you have higher a survival, your natural compass will unlock itself and you'll be able to see north, south, east, west, and not just north. So we do want to get readied up here and see if there's anybody home. Anybody home? I don't know. Always be ready. Always be ready. All right, let's see. Usually uh, drawers like that have like screwdrivers, which are really handy for lock picking. You will need them. No clothing. Dang, that's no good. All right, that's fine, that's fine. There's a clean rag, we'll take that. For the bondage purposes, bondage. Bandage. All right, let's see what's in here. I've seen quite a few people make little bases out of these little things here, and it's it's not really a bad idea. Uh, sometimes you'll get items that spawn in here. Not in this case. So, oh, and there's cars. Sometimes we can find nice goodies in the cars. And there's what appears to be either grapes or olives over here so there's some scrap metal i'll just grab some maybe i can make some bulletproof armor on the way that'd be nice um what is let's search this let's see if we can find something now i will tell you searching these is a is a high risk uh especially cornfields as well because you can get sniped because you're basically anytime you're in mo you're not in motion. Okay, yeah, grapes. There we go, baby. It's a vineyard, guys. It's a vineyard. So we got ourselves a grape. Yeah, baby. Maybe we can crush it with our feet, make some wine. What do you say? What do you think? You guys think we can do that? Probably not. But we're gonna go ahead and eat those bad boys right there. And if you're not familiar with the metabolism menu, definitely when you're eating anything. I always put the metabolism menu up with the stats and the health um, because you may get what they call, um, I guess not. It's it's uh, food repulsion. That's what I'm, that's the word I'm looking for. And if you eat a certain item with a durability that's too low, or if it's raw meat, something like that, you're gonna get sick and you're gonna throw it up. And also, as a friend of mine and I realized together in our first time playing scum um, if you do not pay attention to how full your stomach is and you also and you also keep eating you can actually blow your stomach out and die instantly so that's pretty awesome right guys right now um, I really do want to get those fame points up because Nobody wants to be randomized respawning. It's it's no it's not good. And I technically should make a bed, but I can't even access that bed if I don't have 75 fame points. So really, you know, we do need to get their fame points up a lot higher before we hit the town. So I do want to try to do that. And it can take a while, as you saw. So basically, you know, in this little tutorial episode, we're just kind of getting started. And I don't want to make these videos extremely long because I do want you guys to grab what you need and be able to get to the next one. And so. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Z, 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 Z. Oh, little suckers. Where are you, bitch? Come out of here. Show yourself. Oh, here you are. Come here. There we go. And that 
is why you got to pay attention at all times, ladies and gentlemen. Woo. All right, now, I want to tell you something. These boots right here, these boots, if you can find these boots, okay, you want to get them. But I'm not going to because I haven't found a thread yet. But what I will say is if you find a thread, definitely pick those up because then you can make a improvised sewing kit and repair those boots. They actually come with a inventory slot. So if you can find, you know, 100% use ones or 100% quality ones, that's great. But if you can't, the next best thing is to definitely repair those. And I feel like I've been here before, and I most likely already have. But maybe not. No. I don't think so. Oh, well, look at that, guys. A firearm. 185. Bada boom, bada bang, baby. Sometimes you might think you've been somewhere before, but... Definitely just check your map. Okay. Check your map. All right. Looking good. We got a Halloween mask. You know, why not? Actually, I don't want it. Because guess what? I look scary enough. I got the badass face tattoos. Why would I want that? Oh, and I am going to grab the beanie. Now, one thing to improve your uh, awareness is... You see a container, just drag it outside the container and then drag it into your inventory. Um, that way you're actually able to improve that awareness a lot quicker. All right, so we checked this already. We got ourselves a gun, baby. And this is official servers, so loot settings are normalized, as you could say. And no more food, no more food, nothing, okay. Let's go check. And this is completely a normal server, guys. This is like, I'm not doing single player for this. So if we run up on people, you know what's gonna happen. We're gonna have to fight them. And there's a shovel, look at that. Now I don't need this because I can craft one, but they are more durable for sure uh, than a normal wooden shovel. And there's a pickaxe, which we don't need. Pickaxes are pretty slow, so I don't like to use them, personally. And I want to check this up here. Never stop, never forget to check these little buildings, because you may find a gun up here. You may find something, some good stuff, okay? Now, I will tell you a rule that I just broke, okay? Having three items... In our inventory, not a good idea. Because then you drop it automatically whenever you need to use your hands. So, in a perfect situation, you really don't want to have three things like this. So what I will do, just so I don't have to, you know, waste my time with bow, you know, with making another bow, is I'm actually going to ditch all this stuff. And I'm going to put my axe in my inventory. And I'm going to right click and add to quick access or if you didn't do that okay you can just click and drag it there and then now when i want to use my axe okay i just hit three and there it is now it is getting pretty weak so i do probably want to like craft another one so just something to keep in mind we might we might do that uh, actually, I will do that. I'm gonna do it right now. Because why not? We're here to get those fame points up, baby. You know what I'm saying? So, let's do it. And if you kind of spin around something like that, you can actually, um, find stuff pretty quickly with the rocks. Sometimes you gotta do a little spin move like I did. And you'll find those rocks you desperately desire. And it sometimes it's stupid and, and the UI sucks, so you gotta have to ma manage your stuff a lot easier because we don't want to lose that bow. So I do want to grab this now. Let's go hide in the, let's go hide in this bush because we're gonna steal from it. 
We're gonna steal. No, I don't want to another rock. We're gonna steal these sticks from this bush. Might as well be a thief if you're in scum, if you know what I mean. Stealing from nature, you know what I mean? Alright, so there we go. And we're gonna need rope. So we're gonna cut another branch. And we are climbing, guys. We're climbing those the fan points climbing. 32 you got two points for that. So just for cutting some trees, making some uh materials. You can get those fan points up. And you're gonna need them. You're gonna need a lot. Because you're gonna die. Okay? I'm just telling you. Optimism, you can have it all you want, but you're gonna you're gonna die. Okay. And I need one more stick. There we go. So we're making tree bark rope again. So we can replace this shitey axe that we got here down to 17 percent and so we're going to do that that and in my inventory a stone axe head and make another okay okay man and sometimes i do a little scarface reference here and there because it's one of my favorite movies of all time probably is my favorite movie of all time i'll just say it uh that in v for vendetta and the matrix favorite ever all of them. All right. And remember how I told you that I wasn't going to do more arrows? Well, I am. So. So sorry. So sorry. We need to just go ahead and get those those arrows up. And I'm going to keep this axe because I don't care if I lose it because I got a new one now. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to get these fan points up, guys. I'm, I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it because I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm going to be super pissed. If I get to the town, get ganked instantly, and then I'm random respawning again, I'll be super pissed. So rather than get Mike super pissed, you know, let's make wise decisions here, okay? And, you know, again, leveling up those skills as we go. I really want to get out of this orange jumpsuit for real. So we definitely want to do that. And I hope you guys, we're gonna, oh, let me show you the trick again. Remember, go to the crafting menu, hit the wooden arrow, hit craft. All right, I'm going to kind of go hide in the bush a little better here. But we're going to do Alt-C again. Craft them quickly. Don't waste time in menus. Almost to 50, guys. God help me. Somebody comes and sneaks up on me, I'm gonna be so pissed. Be so pissed. Come on now. Let's use this shitty one. So we don't waste. Already wasted 10%. Unbelievable. Better put that sucker back in there. Alright. And just so I don't use the good one again, you can just craft them like that. That, that, like that. You don't even have to have the, the item in your inventory, guys. It just has to be in the vicinity. There. Okay. All right, and we're, we're capped at 12, okay? So that's that. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this arrow here. That's how you grab an extra, okay? And we got five points left, guys. Five points. So let's not waste, let's not screw up now, okay? Um, I might as well. Might as well chop this tree. Might as well chop this tree. And again, we dropped our bow, but actually, no, it didn't. It put it put it in the inventory. Thankfully, and it's getting dark, so it's definitely harder to see if you don't have night vision.
you are definitely a, a greater target. Look at that moon, guys. Looks like a big old wheel of Parmesan. You ever seen those? Man, go and look up a video of how people open up a wheel of Parmesan. That is some tasty video, let me tell you what. All right, 48. We're gonna craft, we're gonna go ahead and chop these up. Don't need to, but I'm doing it because I'm not gonna be left without 50 fame. 49, may have to do it again. Beautiful sunset. All right, it is night and I have reached 50 fame, ladies and gentlemen, okay? We've reached it, all right? And with that being said, it is turning night. So we are gonna try to, um, you know, we are gonna try to reach the town, but typically I prefer to do this kind of tutorial thing in the daytime, but we're just gonna keep going. See how far we can get. And on the next video, we actually may go ahead and enter the town, but I would like to loot a little bit more before we sign off, see what we find together. So you guys are my good luck charms, what can I tell you? And I appreciate you being here. If you've, if you've been here this long, go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you can see our next video in the series. Uh, and this is basically going to be... You know, uh, tutorials along the way, along with gameplay, PvP, and, you know, beginner guide, intermediate guide, advanced guides, all of that. I'm going to be making a lot of content for you guys on Scum. It is my primary survival game. Um, and speaking of which, you're getting, you know, check your hunger. I got some grasshoppers here. Drag them out. For that awareness to go up and we need to eat because food is at 40 and food is kind of a pain in the ass um sometimes so you want to definitely not and i'm kind of being greedy with trying to keep that arrow but i, I do want to make sure i have as many arrows as possible i usually like to run first person unless i know that there's like uh, if, if I'm in a bunker and I gotta hide from a mech or like try to get into somewhere uh, And there's mechs involved Hello, sir Goodbye, sir And before I check this I want to make sure there's nobody here Because like I told you And there's some clothing here Or a pair of shoes a pair of shoes, okay Oh, I hear something I heard something Little suspense, little. Oh baby, there we go. Nice pair of boots. Goodbye, ugly shoes. And we're not really looking for anything in particular, but as it is a survival game, we are always looking for loot, okay? That is a given. Now, you do. you sometimes may want to check the trash cans. Because you may find some rings or wire. Um, ten, a 10 out of 10 is what we want. Because then we can make an advanced, uh, you know, a higher power bow, essentially. And this is, and check the washers here. Make sure that you're getting that clothing thing taken care of. And layer layers are very important. Um... If you're too hot, you're going to get hypothermia. And if you're too cold, you're going to get hypothermia. There's some cash. Why not? And I like to go through the window here. See some shit on the ground. Here we go. What is this? 
Oh, little fishing floaty floaties. I'm definitely not a fisherman in this game. I'll tell you what. Oh, absinthe. Oh, they changed the skin on it, guys. They changed the skin. Now, what can you do with this, huh? Why am I excited for that? Well, here's why, ladies and gents. Click on the absinthe. Click on the rag, a clean rag. Right-click it and disinfect. And now we have a little rolled bandage and aseptic rags. How sick is that? And that is a lot more effective at treating a wound than just a random rag you'd find in the world. Am I right? Am I right? I think I'm right. All right. Let's see if we can get out of these freaking orange clothes. All right. A uh, pair of gloves. What's my heat at? 36.6. I'll take it. I'll take it. Because usually I don't rock gloves because I end up... Um, and the mask, I really don't, I'm not going to take the mask. I like it though. It reminds me of the Dark Knight movie, the intro. Oh yeah, we're going to take this beanie instead. Because I don't like the tan khaki. I'm a bit of a fashionista. What can I say? Let's check the car. Sometimes it glitches a little bit. And that's how I know there's in, there's loot in there. Not the best if you're trying to, like, not get killed, but, you know. And I'm also checking the ground kind of at all times, too, because sometimes people leave mines or bottle improvised bombs. And there's a rifle. Ooh, baby. Now that is a rifle. That is a 30-06 rifle, guys. All right. That's the one you want. This other one... Okay, 185, this is a 22. This bad boy is the real deal. Great sniper rifle, amazing. Now to find a scope or make a scope, uh, really. And again, this is this is a official server, so standard loot. We're gonna grab another rag. Actually, I can't, I have no space. If I eventually find more important things, I'll drop some of these arrows, but I can always shred my underwear, shred my socks. You know what I mean? Shred your shirt, your undershirt. So I'm not too worried about the rags. That would be a little hidey hole. Oh, what the frick? This give me adrenaline rush, I swear to God. Always, always adrenaline with this game. Always adrenaline. And it's night, so it's hard to see. More money from the zombie. How about the zombie give me some thread, okay? This is a food store or it looks like a cafe. A cafe. I want a 7 out. Give me a 10 out of 10 wire, buddy. Give me that. All right, give me that. No? What is in here? Oh, it looks like a Oh. Yeast. We're going to eat that. Eat that pack of yeast. All right. And now, guys, look, our fame is all the way up to 68. Oh, we got some alcohol. I don't want that, but skunkin spice. Uh, sounds pretty delicious. What can I say? You can actually sell these these alcohol items at the vendors or the traders. What else is there? See, there's more. Alcohol is pretty useless in this game, except for like the absinthe, because you can actually make, oh, I'm gonna drink that. This has sugar in it, and you can see carbs and water. And you can see your water meter here, your stomach. Make sure you don't let this go above 90 because then you're going to be slow. And it's going to be like a, you're going to be sluggish. So here we go. And I don't need the bottle. We're going to ditch it. I want my arrow, bow and arrow. And we're being in the arrow hoarder that we are. So we want to pick that up. Oh, there's more loot in there because it's glitching me. I can't move forward. 
And carrot juice. Drink it. Why not? Carrot. Do you like peas and carrots? I like peas and carrot juice. Do you, Jenny? Do you like carrot juice, Jenny? Carrot juice? For all you Forrest Gump fans out there. Look at, I got a bunch of popping them bottles out here, man. Like I'm having a party. Alright. We're gonna check this one more house over here. Or actually, there's two houses. What else can we find? What else can we find? Another rag. I really want to. I really want to find a backpack. That'd be badass. You know, but you know. We take what we can, and we do what we can with what we have. Houses are... Oh, look at that. Beautiful reindeer. Um, houses are a great way to find hiking backpacks or any kind of bag, really. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Nothing here. Maybe we can find some clothing... I hear something. Ooh, you hear that? That is like a boar or... Yeah. There's a boar. Let's go in the window. There's, there's one more longhouse over there that I want to check. Or that might be the tool shed. What is this? A banjo? Oh my god. That's funny. Haven't seen that yet. I guess you can, maybe you can beat people over the head with it. You think? I'm really curious. I'm gonna try to pick it up. Oh my god, I can. Can I pick it up and swing it? You can. You can whoop an ass with a banjo, guys. How amazing is that? We're going to keep it. Yeah, I think we've been in here. Yeah, we are here already. Yep, we were. Anyway, guys, I'm going to um, go ahead and cut the video here. And we're going to go and head to the town by the next video. We should be on to the town. And ready to rock and roll and loot in there. So... I look forward to seeing you guys there, and check out the next video. Be alpha.